one is Dick from Traders Reborn. Before we start, if you do find value in this video and like what we're doing, please subscribe and like. So today is Friday, July 7th. We had some amazing trades today with the 100% success rate. Three trades using the Fibonacci retracement strategy. All right, so as you can see today, right here, five accounts, 1,400 on all five. These are the amount of um, trades right here. And win rate 100%. Okay, so we're going to start off here. So we hit bangers right off the opening bell. We had a pre-market game plan and we followed it, right? I was telling the team here, we wait for price to drop down to the 15190. Yeah, I'm sorry. Something's going on with my recorder and for some reason today it uh didn't record my voice. So now I have to do a voiceover. Okay? So this is the market open right here, the first candle. We um I told everybody, you know, we're going to wait till the price goes down to 15190, which is right here the purple line. That's where the 38% Fibonacci retracement level is. Right? So we don't make any trades. We just stay patiently waiting until it hits this price level once it shows support i announced it to the team on live voice here also with screen share that they're seeing exactly what this screen is showing right here okay i told them one 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 five one ninety if it does hold i will enter a long position okay and as you can see i was telling them here i explained to them it's been consolidating right here since last night this was news that just popped up, went back down, back into range. Let me forward a little bit. There you go. So price did eventually drop down. As you can see. Once price did drop down, I went ahead and started my... You can play this, but with a big-ass stop loss. <laughs> yeah. So I started my starter position right around 190 once it uh held you can see it holding through on support you, and you see it closely it's just ranging but big ranging yeah this is just one of the members that's just talking here um for some reason mine's muted yeah. they can hear me but uh my obs that i'm using to record for some reason the mic was on mute Yeah, like right now, like right here, it's it's in the bottom. You need to do high right now, but it's you need deep. big. So as you the can soft see here, it did take a couple candles. That was a Doji candle there. So I believe this candle over here is where it actually went down. So I I like to draw the arrows so all my members can see what uh what my thought process is and where I'm aiming for. Right, I draw it on here so all my members can see. And as you can see, I circled the Fibonacci level. That's the level that we're targeting so that we can aim it uh, targeting up here where the yellow line is pointing. So at this very moment, I'm telling the team here, we're we're watching 190 over the DOM here. Okay, 190 is holding. You see 190. Order holding. Oh, I just started my first position. My plan is only to go into contracts. So there you go. It is moving up right off the bat right off the 38 percent it's like a magic it's like a, you know everyone calls Order it the magic level so mm -hmm. there we go i went ahead and add another one once i saw price holding and as you can see here price is shooting up straight up right here i'm already up 50 ticks 60 ticks Why? Seventy ticks here. Look at that, hundred ticks. See that right off the bat. It's very easy. It just flies right up. This was an easy hold, easy trade. Trade with confidence and conviction, right here. Hundred ticks. As you can see, price was kind of stalling right here where VWAP was. So, as you can see right here, I'm that up should be your only play right there. there. I was up thirteen hundred on two contracts. That's it, man. That's there it. You go. Yeah. Order filled. I went ahead and trimmed one.
And I see that price was stalling here, so I was ready to, uh, you know, I was ready to exit the moment it the candle flipped on me, right? Because we are playing on the opening bell, and as you can see, price was making a higher, a uh, lower high each time, lower high, lower high. So, you know, just protecting my capital here, managing my trade, right? So once price did flip back down into the red, the candle flipped red, that's when I went ahead and just exited fully in profit. As you can see, it was a hundred and something ticks right there already. And this is where I exit. I went ahead and flatten out right there. And <clears throat> Eventually, price did pass, as you can see here. Fast forward it, it did come back down, so I would have given back more had I held. But I went ahead and just stuck to the plan here. Price didn't move as quickly as as I oh. planned, and here we go. You know what you did. This is where, it, this is where you know it eventually goes to my yeah. target right here. <laughs> and you still didn't do it. <laughs> and here we go. So once it broke the trend line, it went ahead and shot up all the way to the target. Because you know what happened, Dick? You didn't follow the plan. <laughs> mm -hmm. So there you go. Price did hit. Price hit. And we did take our second trade. Yeah, I had it on Zoom. This for was the plan reason. here. The arrows. I told everybody price was going to drop. And we're going to try to get a retest before we enter for more longs. But price never did retest. Um, you know, we we almost did enter another long right here on this on this breakout here, but <clears throat> RR wasn't too um, wasn't there, so that's why we decided not to take it. So we decided to wait until it uh, reached the top here, showed some resistance, so we could enter for shorts, which is where it did come up here. Here's another fifty percent retracement right here. These dashes that I drew mean Order that filled. they are on a higher time frame. So that's how I differentiate if they're high time frame fibs versus low time frame fibs. As you can see, 50% was holding. I did enter a short position, starter position. Um, I was up for a little bit. But they, there you go. It came back up. I went ahead and added another one when it showed support. Filled. Um, there you go. I'm in two position here. It kind of just stalled around here for a little bit. As you can see, price did go up, down, up, down on me. I held, held. And this was where, you know, it tried to drop, but it ended up not dropping. So, right, I was going to, um, when I tried to press flatten, I tried to take TP there. Just because it was already close to my target, but when I, by the time I pressed flan, price reversed on me already. As you can see right here. So, <laughs> as you can see, price went down. I pressed flan, but by the time I pressed flan, it reversed on me. You see, it missed my TP. Stop filled. It missed my TP. So what happened was it was closed out in a little bit of profit still. But um, price did go back up, and I went ahead and re-entered the moment price started coming back down again. And that was my last trade. As you can see here. There you go. So here was my entry. I'm about to enter right now. Order filled. There it goes. I entered for two position right off the bat. And I think at this point I only need about three to four hundred dollars of profit to hit my daily 
uh, daily max profit. So it took about 40 ticks on this trade. So I was looking on the DOM just to make sure that I didn't go over my daily max profit. And here it goes. And there we go. That was a that was a tick profit. And I hit my quarter for the day. And that was it, guys. So those trades did bring me to 1400 on all five accounts, ending me with about $7,000 across all five in total. Uh, this was all using the Fibonacci retracement. Um, you know, 38% is my favorite level. You know, that's where I usually start a, start a position and... It gives me with conviction as long as, you know, I use price action along with volume just for confluence. And as you can see, this is the accounts, five accounts, 100% win rate on all trades today. And ending me with 1400 minus commission, my net was about 1375 ending me with 6800 after commission. So, you know. If you want to trade and not use your own capital, this is a route that many of the traders take, which is through pop firms. And in Traders Report Discord, we, you know, we focus a lot on trading strategies that will pass, help you pass these pop firms, right, and get you funded. So a lot of our traders are doing the pop firms. You know, we are doing live accounts also. So this, the strategies that we use is overall just good for any type of trading, options trading, futures trading, you know, it's just the, the fundamentals that you need to know and you need to learn in order to become a successful trader. So if you do want to trade with us, we are currently free right now to join. We trade live every day, education every day, every morning we do education based off the live market. Uh, data so it's not anything in hindsight you know we we you know we make we call out price action as it moves okay so if you do guys if you guys do like this video please subscribe and thank you for watching until next time guys